you listening closely, were you watching, we'd like to introduce to our audience, our Steel Pier audience, the next superstar. Now, I know that uh, you don't hear me say that very frequently, but uh, we've had the opportunity today to introduce to you Al Stewart. Al, may I say that it is a genuine pleasure. Thank you very much. This is a most talented young man. And if you uh, purchase a copy of this great album on Janus of Past, Present, and Future, and you listen to the lyrics and the music, the blend is absolutely fantastic. Al, uh, you're doing something that uh, just hasn't been done on record before. Yeah, I, would, I hope so. I would hope so. That's the intention behind that. It's, it, you, uh, the press refers to you sort of as a folk troubadour doing history. Mm. I don't really... The folk bit of it, I don't really see at all. I mean, I don't, I don't think I have... If you listen to that record, I don't think it's a folk record at all. No, the I... The history I, bit, I can see. I think it's a, the, the road to Moscow, which we heard, uh, is very sad. Yes, it's... Uh, it's it's about a soldier, isn't it? It's folk in the sense that it tells a story. Mm -hmm. And um, folk songs, traditionally, are songs which tell stories. And this one obviously tells the story of a Russian soldier during the last World War. And for that reason, you could say it's a folk song. You know? Now, your facts are, are, are pretty good. I would say excellent. Uh, I, I consider myself a modest history buff. But you had to do an awful lot of reading and studying in order to project this into your lyrics, did you not? I think there were about 50 books I read for this song. Well, Something how did you like do that? that? I mean, did you just ensconce yourself in a library and uh, pour over the... Uh... No, I mean, I, I knew specifically, you know, which ones I needed, which ones I was after, and I just uh, bought them. I, you know, I wasn't really, when I was reading the books, I wasn't reading for a song. I mean, the songs are byproducts of me having read those books, you know. Um, all sorts of things, you know, like... Orthodox textbooks like um, Guderian's Panzerlieder, right down to just fun books like The Rise and Fall of the House of Krupp and things did, like did you, that. Did you find uh, the reading interesting? Oh, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting, yeah. I mean, some of it's a bit heavy going. I found, uh, you know, some of the Russian generals' memoirs were very heavy going. Also, they'd been doctored quite a lot, and quite a lot of it wasn't... Um, wasn't uh, I can see it now. You consider it entertainment, but I can see in the learning process that schools and colleges, in order to get the... Uh, the kids who don't want to study, maybe they can reach them with your album. Well, so. yeah, I'd, I'd like to think that the album is entertainment. I don't think it's heavy at all. What I like to do is synthesize actual historical facts and bring them down into songs which are fun to listen to. I mean, I think Rose to Moscow is like an, a pleasant thing to listen to, whereas like a big fat history book very often isn't very much fun unless you happen to be a history buff. Well, you can see what a triple threat this young man is, and uh, we haven't even mentioned how good your guitar work is. But, yeah. of course, the critics have all said that your, your guitar work is excellent. Uh -huh. Now, I was wondering if you'd introduce the other members of the group, because uh, I think they deserve a mention, don't you, Al? All right. Well, this is Laurie over here playing guitar. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that's Jim playing the Mellotron over there, which sounds like the strong. That's Cookie over there uh, singing harmony vocals. That's Cliff playing bass, and that's Cleopatra who uh, sings along in the background. Oh, the yes, I saw her barge parked outside this, the uh, studio when we taped this. I do want to thank the folks at the main point uh, for providing the entertainment we've just received from you, Al, and uh, I know that you're just going to zoom right to the heavens. Well, with your we'll work. see. Thank you very much, anyway. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen Al Stewart, and you will remember him because he's in the past, present, and future.